boys, Prudy here, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back for our Rags to Riches Hardcore series, back at Somerset Farms. Just heading down to um, one of our first jobs. Down here, field number three is a field we need to harvest as one of our jobs. So, oh, okay, we can't actually harvest yet because the crops are too wet. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can just fast forward time till it dries. I guess um, they harvested their field pretty quick, didn't they? Um, let's have a look at our weather. We got yeah, got some drying coming up. We want a bit of rain at midday. Can we get this done before midday? That's the question. So we've got field three that we're on now. Field eleven, field thirteen, and field twenty-one that we need to do. So fingers crossed, we can. Um, Get these done before the weather turns south again. Raining at about midday. Oh, wow. A little bit painful that it's too wet. I didn't even uh, take any notice, to be honest. But um, anyway, I've um, spoken to the guy at the petrol station as well. Um, he's still hasn't been approved for his development in putting in his little... Um, drive through wash bay sort of thing for cars and tractors and the like so still waiting to get information from him um, I did go and have a look at the trees to see if I could chop them down and sell them but um, from first inspection it looks like they might be full of you know like termites or something um, wood ants or whatever they might call them over here um, so I think the wood's going to be no good so we need to just cut the trees down and get rid of them so we need to rediscuss um, what we're going to do as far as payment goes because we can't do it for free so we're going to have to wait and see what happens there um, and yeah go from there also the local government um, rejected our plan to mow around those houses for a little bit of money uh, they said they've already got a contractor that does it um, a couple of times a year and they're more than happy to stay with him Oop, there we go more than happy to stay with him so um, it looks like we're not going to be um, mowing anybody's lawns anytime soon for houses or anything so oh well it is what it is I suppose we can't um, worry about it too much but it would have been nice to get you know another contract like that get our name out there for you know the mowing side of things and that sort of stuff but more than happy just to continue to do our, um, our harvesting get our name out there with our harvesting and Field work and that sort of stuff. After all, that's, um, that's what we're here to do. We're we're farming. Um, we're not, you know, yard maintenance or house maintenance. We're we're a farmer, so I guess we should stick to what we know and keep farming instead of trying to buy around people's houses. But, um, hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this series so far. Hopefully, you guys are happy to see it continue. I know. Um, series has been pretty successful on the channel so far uh, so you guys are definitely enjoying it um, I'm still enjoying recording it and doing you know the whole I'll try and do the whole role play side of things um, it's, it's been a lot of fun I'm glad that I'm back in playing you know Farm Sim 19 certainly one of my favorite games of all time you know, farming simulator series and um so what's made my channel so successful I suppose the, you know, the farming stuff and the, the custom farm builds and that sort of stuff I've been doing so happy to be back um, also I've been talking with Mike again we're still in talks with him about um, buying the property up there that we're currently staying in eventually he said he's definitely happy to sell um, obviously for the right money so it's just a matter of time now for us to be able to get some money to be able to pay him what he wants, which is um, a bit over hundred thousand dollars, I think. So we've got a long way to go before we can get there, but that's um, our long-term goal. Definitely is to purchase that little end up there and um, hopefully get some pigs and stuff up there and see what we can do with some pigs. Hopefully we can make some money out of those guys. And 
they use the manure in a slurry and fertilising jobs and all that sort of thing. Save us, you know, having a buy a fertiliser um, spray and that sort of stuff. So, be pretty good. Um, we're still waiting for our stuff at the bunker silo to be fermented um, so we can actually tip it off and sell it. I'm thinking now that we've fast forward a little bit of time today that might be might be nearly ready to go so we might actually have to go and um, check on it I guess and see how we're going well, it looks like it's going to be our first ooh, our first um, load of barley try not to hit our tractor and everything else already hit the fence so it's going to take us a little while to get these fields done I think so we might um, harvest this field start on field 21 see how we go for time and then we might have to throw in a bit of a time lapse but while this is unloading can we actually we can go up here have a bit of a look still got our trailer here ready to go is it ready to go 78% so not quite not quite, but not far off, I suppose. So it should be ready to go. We should be able to get it in there by the end of the day today, hopefully. Just hoping to get these jobs done before the rain comes. Um, and as you guys know, I usually run at times five speed. Um, but I think this episode we won't. Otherwise, we won't get this harvesting done. Um, we did skip through oh, what a good four hours the start of the day so we certainly can't waste any time today we need to get these done and get the farmers happy that yeah, we're here to do a job and we need to try and not let um, the weather affect us too much so these harvesting jobs are going to take us a little while I think um, this tractor, or this tractor, this harvester, I should say. She's uh, she's not a very, very big um, harvester. But it's only got you know like 4,000 litre capacity. It's got a small header on it, so we're not gonna, not gonna get it. We need these jobs done quickly. I think this is probably our smallest field too. We've got field 21 just here, 11 and 13, so. Yeah, it's going to be a decent amount of money. Where's our barley? Is anything else barley? Yeah, field 11's barley as well. So we'll see how we go with um, this field. If our trailer's not full off this field, we'll head over to that other field. Um, field 11. We'll get the barley done in there, I think. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have a full, a, um, full trailer anyway. It's all getting sent to the same spot on the map, so then again, I don't know if we can do that because we've got two different contracts. They might not allow it. This how do you keep track of whose barley's what, I suppose. I guess that's one thing we need to um need to be careful of. We don't want to be you know, selling the wrong person's barley and not meeting our track requirements so I don't think that's going to be a good idea but I think we should be able to get, get this field done um, and not have a full trailer I think it's like 11,000 litres I don't think we're going to get three full harvester loads I think we might only get the two and a bit I was contemplating um, selling our harvester again and just to try and bring in some money doing silage and stuff but now that we've got it and we've used it we can't really get a great deal of money back for it. Um, certainly the guy we bought a problem not, not just interested in taking it back. Um, I spoke to the guy down at the shop he's not interested in buying it either. 
and uh, everyone in the local area has already got a harvester, so he doesn't really need to buy one to, to sell or anything, so yeah, he wasn't interested. Um, Mike didn't know any of anybody interested, so I guess we're sort of stuck with it now. Which isn't, isn't a bad thing. Hopefully we're going to get a field pretty soon. We can start to do our own thing. Starting to make some good money, hopefully. Got lifted in the header too early then. Um, yeah, start to make some decent money and get us out of this, you know, this poor state. We're really, really poor at the moment. We really don't have a great deal of money at all. Right, so that's going to be number two. Load number two. I'm going to head into our trailer here. I probably should have set him up a different way. Be honest. Um, see if we can't go like this, and then move our tractor up. Might be a little bit easier for us in the harvester if we don't destroy our new front end that we just got put on the tractor. All right, there we go. Just jump it out. Jump back up into here. Spread out our load a little bit. At nearly 11 o'clock, early autumn. So we're passing through the year pretty quick. That should be the last load. There we go. Our last load, but that load finished. Right, let's um, get this little bit we missed before. Right, okay, get this little bit done as well. Missed a bit at the start there. That's weird. Swing around and head back the other way. I don't know why we keep missing little bits. I mean, it's not going to matter too much, but it's going to mean we're going to get that little bit less money in our account for the job, so. Build 3 is what, um, $730, so not a lot of money. Um, obviously we're going to get a little bit more once we sell the excess crop, but it's still not going to be massive income for us today, I don't think. It's still going to be pretty average. Alright, there we go. I don't worry about the rest of that, that should be pretty good. We can leave all that behind. Oh, Alright, turn this way. So I want to have a look at the prices for the, in the market anyway. Um, I don't think... Oh, there's hay. There's no straw. There's no straw sell points. So just thinking um, the possibility for us to be able to collect this straw um, from these fields and be able to sell it as well, but as I said there's no one in the area that wants any straw, so we're sort of um, out of luck where that's concerned. Alright, so we'll head up to, I think it's the port, port southeast, which really isn't southeast I don't think. I swear our map's sort of upside down when we keep looking at it. It's more of a northeast port. We'll head up there, get this dumped off, we'll head down to field 21 and then get our harvester down there and start to harvest down there and hopefully we can bring in a decent amount of money after we finish that contract as well.
up, coming up on Cell Point. It's just here, if we look at it on the map. Port southeast. The next left. I've um, gone through and turned traffic off again just because I've got the harvester out on the road. That Fort Street's um, head of trailer really wasn't doing the job, so just had to get rid of it. Right, dump this off so you see at the top, if I can get the right angle. 11,823. That didn't give us any extra money. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay, 9% transported for field 11, so it did count the same as that. Interesting. At least we know we'll get a decent income when we finish field 11 then, hopefully. Alright, so let's head around. Then, I guess what I'm worried about then is if we we have, you know, like 11,000 litres in this trailer, we only need to deliver 10,500 litres. Once we do that, can we still continue to harvest the field? I think we probably can until we actually finalise the contract, so we should be okay, but I guess we'll just have to, have to wait and see. Right, so we'll head back down to field 21, which is on this road, just right opposite the shop. I think I've already gone past there and opened up the gate, just to make sure we were in the right field, ready to go. So there's a bit of sugar cane on that field or something there, or some sort of weed, it's a little bit weird. All the way around the outside. Field there has been harvested, but a little bit left behind. All these fields are um, already harvested. There's not many left to go. They're only the ones that we've got today are the ones that um, 21, 11, and 13 that are the only other ones ready to go. There's still a few growing, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Our field 42 is withered. Do we have a contract for field 42? No, 23 and 9. 9's there, 23's there, so they're really not worth doing. Not going to make a um, great deal of money out of them, so... Right, so this should be field 21, just on our right hand side. Okay, so I want to come in here and... I don't know, I want to set up the trailer somewhere out of the way. Um, we shouldn't be driving over the crop, really. Um, I guess we're not damaging anything at the moment, so it's not too bad. So let's uh, bring our little bison harvester down. Not too bad a harvester, but it's not great either, I suppose. So field 21. Uh, what's actually planted in field 21? Oats. Yep, okay. Oats are fit in field 21. I think field 13 is canola, so field 13 should get a decent income out of that. So it's not too far to go from here to um, the cell point. It'd be much better if we had a faster tractor or something, but we'll see the one we got only does 25, the harvester only does 22, so we're really not going to go very fast anytime soon. So we'll head onto this field and then close this gate. I know we don't have access to this land, but we'll go shut this gate. 
Oh, not with a harvester in it. Oh, that's not very... That wasn't uh, very pretty. Alright, so let's do a run. have to do a few runs around the outside, I think. I really do enjoy this map, but... One thing I don't like is having so many hedges and stuff so close to the fields and stuff it makes it much much harder to work with but uh, guys what I might do is head into a time lapse already it's um, already up to 20 minutes just over 20 minutes we've still got two fields to go including this one so two in a bit but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did as always smash that like button Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far. And if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty Thanks for watching. See you again soon.